Welcome back for race three of this F1 2014 season challenge. Uh, last race did not go very well at all. It was Suzuka in the rain, which is just a really bad combination for me. It did not go well. We were beaten by Daniel, um, so we have one chance left to beat him at Monza. If we beat him, we get the Toro Rosso seat, which would be possibly good. It could be a, a very mediocre thing. I mean it's been pretty poor recently so we shall get to Monza and hopefully we can beat Daniel um, take the Tarasso seat and then we can go on to challenge another driver and try and steal their seat I don't know who else I'd go I think next I think maybe the Force India or a Williams I think that would be a good a good move I think I'll go for oh I don't know actually the Martini livery is very tempting I can tell you but so is the Force India but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself because I have not beat Daniel qualifying is about to start for the British Grand Prix that is very helpful Crofty um, so yeah Crofty is a bit confused because it's a 2014 mod and the season challenge order has been changed so he still thinks it's the same tracks but never mind that it's only Crofty we shall increase the top speed ever so slightly. Increase top speed and acceleration. How can you? I don't think that really worked. How can you increase the top speed? Or does it mean increase the acceleration by making it slower? I presume it must do because you can't increase the top speed and the acceleration at the same time. Um, I shall give it a little bit more. Should we go one or two? I think one, just to be, just to be more safe-ish. Um, I don't want to risk it. So we shall go for qualifying at Monza. This should be a better track for me. I know it better than Suzuka. And it's just a bunch of straight lines, uh, if we're honest, with a chicane or two in the way. So let's go using up our errors instantly and the DRS. We are already in the lead. We have pace. We have so much pace. This is ridiculous. I'm going to break there where the marking is. We have braked too early for the, well... We've braked early, let's put it that way, but we have a good exit. Perez, uh, oh no, Massa has just cropped up as the uh, leader other than myself. So this is going well so far. This um, change of setup is seems to be really helping. So we're going to break under the, uh, well, on the shadow is where I always break, though we've gone slightly deep. We've cut the corner slightly, but I think we can get away with that. I mean, I didn't gain that much, and we've gone wide. We're going to have to uh, quickly do a flashback. I'm still having trouble getting used to um, the wheel thing, so I am making an awful lot of mistakes, I'm afraid. Uh, let's try this again, that's much better. We need to stay low, uh, is the key. Although Massa has closed, that was a much, much better corner. Although Massa is closing, we need a bit more top speed as we have DRS, and we are, we are just flying now, pulling away so much. Uh, breaking underneath this board as well. We can abuse uh, these, although that change of steering was awful then. As I went to steer in the opposite direction, it was just so slow. It just didn't respond how I wanted it to. That was horrible. But we just got the parabolica left. Where can we regain? I am awful at the parabolica, I shall tell you now. As you can see, what on earth was that line? I don't even know myself. Who's going to be on polo? Is it Massa? We can't have Massa on pole. We have Massa on pole. What? But we are qualifying in seventh place in a British. Uh, I would say something, but I'm not going to. There's three Brits in a row, um, which is good. And then there's three Germans in a row, separated by a Mexican, uh, with another German, a Vettel, having a dismal, dismal season. Oh dear. So I can't believe that Massa on pole. And where's where's the other Williams? Have I already gone past it? I must have done. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Bottas in 8th place. Right behind us, interestingly. Okay, that was a very interesting qualifying session. Um, what's the say? Although Vettel with 0.666. I think that's appropriate of how, how his season is going right now. Only just beaten Ricardo. So this has put us into a very good stead to beating uh, the other Daniel. And it is good for points. I think we can get points on the board, which is very helpful in our quest to be the champion, uh, which won't happen, 
as I said earlier, because it's ridiculously hard uh, when you have to start in an awful car like this. Uh, so let's go. This should be a good race. I am excited. I am ready. I think this will be great. So we'll head out to the track and hopefully not bugger it up. We have uh, four flashbacks just in case we make very stupid mistakes, uh, which will happen. He thinks the other Daniel is um, Mark Webber for some reason. I don't know why. It's the first time I can see the Mercedes as well, because I've been so far behind. That will have reason too good, I'll put it lightly like that. Doesn't look great, does it? Uh, that blotch of blue. So, as per normal, we get a bad start. That's just what happens with everything. I mean, look how bad that start was. We have lost several positions, and we're going to break early for turn one. We breaked early, we just tapped the Sauber that was not really my fault because I braked earlier than everyone although we went free wide through that chicane which was amazing and we, we, well we were almost free wide still uh, we have got the run on the Mercedes but also on Hulkenberg we are going to go three wide again we got the run on Bottas what is going on with our speed it's insane this Marussia has pace we have just rear-ended button um, quite considerably oh dear I was trying to let him back pass there but that didn't really work. <laughs> I let Bottas through as well, but no matter, I did take him out accidentally. We've got to be somewhat fair. So, we know we have a good top speed. So, hopefully, we should just start pulling away from Hulkenberg right now, which we are doing. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Is it the setup that I did? The, the quick setup? I, I can't. I don't believe it would be that. Because I did it so minor, although we are troubling through there because of the, uh, the slowness of the change of direction it's very poor very struggling there and I'm also struggling on the parabolica but that is my own doing because I'm just awful at it and we run wide we are gonna hold it on the island we may have just chopped Hulkenberg off but that was a bit accidental so we are in 8th place which is great I mean I, I can't believe it anyways that it's gone this well so we're breaking down for the chicane, they are breaking quite early. Um, and we have the rear step out on us there, we've got it stepping out on us there again, and that has been a bad exit, Rosberg has got us. But can we get him back? I think we can. We've got him back, we've already got him back, wow. This Marussia, what is with it? I mean, <laughs> this sudden upturn of pace here, as we slightly cut the chicane, but no harm done. Uh, it must be the setup or summit because this is just ridiculous. It must be the setup plus the 8 speed gearbox is just really OP or something. Uh, Rosberg has just fallen back dramatically from that corner. So, really, I, I want to be catching up to Button and uh, Bottas. Although we are going to struggle here. Although we got the change of direction there, I'm trying to drive it a bit differently to the previous laps and hopefully. Um, it may be working, but I have the parabolica. We have a green flag, which means we had a yellow flag, which... Well, I wonder why. Maybe there was a collision going into the uh, the chicane. We may have got the parabolica slightly better. Slightly better than normal. Uh, not too much better, and DRS will be enabled uh, this lap. Thank you. So hopefully we can get into that one second window. As we break, I'm breaking too early for the chicane just to be safe at the moment. But I think I can stop doing that. I'm a bit more confident of where the braking zone actually is. Um, it's a bit after that little outcrop of road. So I can break later than that and maybe take a few cars next time. But we've got the speed. We have the speed and we're down the inside of Jensen. Although we've run wide, cut the chicane, but we'll, we'll let that slide. <laughs> I mean, it, well, I, I overtook him. Let's, let's just go with that. Uh, we were purple as well, uh, which is quite interesting, though we've missed the apex, which we just run wide, and Jensen's going to have DRS, which we don't want uh, at all. So he's probably going to overtake us. He's right beside me. Right beside me. Although we got the pace somehow. How do we have the pace? That is unbelievable. These setup changes are just insane. What? Do, do I have a front wing? I mean... 
this the speed of this Marussia at the moment is amazing. Do I want to be really getting a Toro Rosso as we mess up the Parabolka for the millionth time and Jensen collects us? I think... Oh dear, he's spun around. I think I'm going to use a flashback there. That wasn't good. Uh, I shall try that again. I'm just hopeless at the Parabolica, although this looks like a better line. Okay, it looked like a better line until I lost the... I think, did I... Did I touch a wheel on the grass? Did I? Yeah. And then just lost it. Let's try this again one more time. I don't really want to be using all my flashbacks though for a Parabolica. These are more just in case I mess up badly, which I have been doing, but... Eh. Uh, Will we get DRS from Bar uh, yeah, it is Bottas. Will we? No, we won't. But we are going to pass him before the chicane. We are at the rev limiter almost. That's obscene. That's just amazing. We don't even need DRS on this. Does this Marussia always have DRS? No? This is just incredible. Our exits are still meh. The acceleration has been hampered, presumably, by the top speed change, but that is expected. Um, the braking is okay, but other than the chicane, I think I'm struggling to sometimes keep it all four wheels on the circuit. Uh, but we are now challenging Massa. Well, we're going to challenge Massa. We're going to try and catch up to Massa, who must have lost the lead as he started on pole position, which was very interesting. Um, we've had a terrible, terrible line and Bottas and Button might pass me although we are side by side we are pushing each other and it may go free wide which would have been dangerous to say the least we've got it through the chicane but Bottas is still there although this is where we really really pull away he's just gone although we lose a lot of time here as well because I am awful at the Parabolica as you can see so, Bottas and Button are going to have DRS on me, but my top speed and acceleration in the higher gears is just amazing with this Urs. I mean, there we go, I'm, I'm pretty much at the rev limiter. I've barely used any of it. Breaking early as per normal, just to be safe, getting through the first chicane. Alright. Okay. They don't have a run on me. I think I'm free to uh, plow on. I'm not going to catch Massa. Made too many mistakes to be a, to be able to do that, but that probably hurt in qualifying when I was just miles ahead of them somehow. Oh, and the oversteer is gain just catching me out. I j I don't know if it's the game as well because I just want to have a small flick of opposite lock to you know balance the car, but it just keeps it held there for ages, and I can't do that corner it seems because they are just. Pacey through them. I'm having to use up a lot of my errors at the moment to try and uh, defend from the DRS cars. Although there again the change of direction really hurt us and Bottas may have a run but we have errors still. We are going to pull away. That's good. So it's just the Parabolica. Will we mess up the Parabolica? I'm saving a tiny bit of errors just in case we do mess it up and we need to properly push. Although Alonso has won the race again. So he's won the, the second and the third race. Bottas He's, he's not close enough. He's not close enough. So that is a sixth place. Look how look at how elated him. How well he can drive in a straight line, without his hands on the wheel. <laughs> what what's he doing? He's just look at that steering. I mean that's great. So Alonso won with Magnussen in uh, second place with Hamilton third, rounding off the podium. Massa went down quite badly to be honest. After qualifying on pole. And do I see a Sebastian Vettel in 15th? Yes, I do. That's very poor. But the main part of this race is achieves. No, it's not achieves. It's that we get the Toro Rosso, uh, which is a big improvement from Armorosia, hopefully. I actually can't guarantee that um, after how this season is going so far. So yeah, I'm very, very chuffed, very happy. With, uh, once again, Max Chilton staring intently in the background. So, who will be our next rival? 
that is the question. I think it's going to either be a Force India or a Williams. So here we go. Contract offer. We shall accept. There we go. Toro Rosso. Very nice cutscene. Very nice. Toro Rosso. Hoo -hoo. Well, this will be interesting at how good the Toro Rosso will be in my hands. Probably worse than it's ever been. Next race will be the Nürburgring in the sun. Thanks so much. I could not have done that in the rain. Being 2014, I believe, though, it should be Hockenheim, but do, do ignore that. that. Imagine that's Hockenheim. I mean, look at it. It does, it does, it doesn't look like Hockenheim, but never mind. Uh, so, Hockenheim. I'm even calling it Hockenheim now. The Nürburgring is next. That, I think, could go okay. I, I'm not too bad there. Not, not Suzuka bad, I mean. That would just be the worst. And let's have a look at, quick look at the standings. Where I believe Alonso is leading by 10 points over Hamilton, who is 13 points ahead of Raikkonen. Magnussen doing well in 4th. Uh, and we are in 9th place, which is great. We are beating Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> what a great sight. What a great sight. And, well... I mean, that just says everything, doesn't it? At least Toro Rosso, so that's why I'm a bit concerned. But alas, I think it shall be okay. So, next race is the Nürburgring at Germany. So I shall see you in Germany.